Hello everybody and welcome back to Blazer Dragon Plays Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door where we last left off. We've cleared pit of 50 trials because I'm too much of a chicken to take on 100 now. And now we have to find a ship. And as it just so happens that on the docks we actually have a ship. Yep. This is my boat now. Okay, so we need, obviously you need to find the captain of this uh, rather bland vessel. Uh, a guy called Flavio. He doesn't sell too often, he mostly ends up. Oh. Eh. That guy. Yeah, the one I hate so much. So let's go and have a chat with the man. I didn't really explain where we're going. We need to get on a ship to an island called Keelhole Key. In case I wasn't clear. Um, mm hmm. We have to save yourself, yellow. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say an ocean. Yeah. Discovered enlightenment or something. Cortez. You are making absolutely no sense to me. Well, not really. If there's anything about a, a star shaped object that's likely blue, then I'll be interested. Oh yeah, that would do it. Is that so? Well, I sort of spoke very quietly myself, but yeah. Very cool, has a treasure too. Well, maybe not directly. Have a man. Well, kinda. I only need one thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want the star, you can have whatever else is there. <sighs> Well, I took a ship to get here, but I very much doubt the same captain will want to take me to a, par a cursed island. Or haunted. I'm not sure. Is it cursed or haunted? And off he goes. Well, looks like we have a captain of some description. Hey. Okay, hopefully we can just get on off. Christ, everyone else decided to... You, uh... You fucking serious about this? What the fuck are you doing on the ship, you ah bastard bob on? You're gonna blow the whole thing up! No, I don't want to talk to you. But this guy... Where have I seen him before? Uh, on closer inspection, you kind of look like a non-specific bad guy from Super Mario Bros. 2. Or you could be Lord Crumb, but what do I know? Anyway. Yeah, you do have a problem. There's a bob -omb on your ship. And there's a bob -omb next to your ship, so when that guy goes up, the whole place will come down. Wow. 
I think you're looking too much into this boat. Like I said before, it's rather bland looking. Bloody ship and Zelda Wind Waker look better than this. Because it was actually ship size. <clears throat> the Flavian. That sounds like something like French dish or something. I don't know. Oh yes. Oh, what do you want? Oh, Papach. Yeah, th that name isn't fooling anyone, mate. You are most certainly a bob -omb. Admiral Bobbery. So you'll see, dog, by all accounts, that he said to have the henchman's touch, sir. He will make any ship out to his will. Eh, I might know where this bobbery is. Okay, I'll trust you this time. Oh, fuck you guys. Ugh. You all suck! I have to do everything in this bloody game, grr. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Slow frame rates now too. Fucking. Bleh. Okay, let's go. Run. Don't don't you start crashing out on me. You were doing well in the previous episode. <laughs> don't think I really uh, spent that much time up here. Not really any need to. Let's get double check. I did pick up the star piece behind here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, I didn't pick that up though. And I bet you guys are all screaming at me. Actually, I think I did mention that there's a shine sprite on one of the houses, but I never really got around to actually getting it. This chapter actually has a lot of star star pieces and shine sprites. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Another bob -omb? That's who he's got on me to get? What do you blokes want? I can relate. Never heard of the gym. Oh, that was quick. Okay, let's go talk to that pod ladle piece. What the fuck is his name? I honestly have no idea. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know uh, this Admiral Bobbery. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess now that we, ju we just know he's Admiral Bobbery. I think when I was younger it took me ages to find him. We know. <laughs> okay, let's just talk back to the bar owner. Yeah, I won't kid him when he said he was salty. <laughs> Well, fuck you then. Christ, I didn't even want to talk to you in the first place. Yes. Oh boy. Please do, I can take it. No, I hate sad stories. I actually do. I don't I don't like sad stuff. Hmm. 
Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness there, where they could... Eh, where <laughs> they could and all was good for a long time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill, a virus, a passing cold. No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts they tormented him, always haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Yeah. This chapter's very bizarre in, in, in itself, so I guess it kind of makes sense. We do need this guy. This, uh, this, the letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. Hmm. Grim. Written inside, but I can tell you, she told me she would make men. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, <laughs> what a coincidence! Then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request, but when I saw Bobbery in misery trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to pretend. What? Well, you fucking dick! Whatever you, whatever you feel, it was a dying person's last wish, and all you had to do was give him a letter. Fucking hell. That's not the only massive dickery he causes as well. I, I reckon a lot of hurt in Rogueport and other places is caused by that one man. Grr. Stop snapping and read the fucking letter. Uh, ah, the sad music. I'm not gonna read this one. She certainly has you sussed. A good quote, actually. I like that. Yeah, take as much time as you need. Awesome, now we got Bobbery, kinda. Not really. Uh, hang on, I'm just gonna rob your shine sprite. There we go. Oh, you'll have it back soon enough anyway. Okay, now we have the Admiral. We used to have the Admiral. Bloody hell, he moves quick. On me. Okay. Oh. Ugh, let me guess, it's an RDM. Uh, oh no, it's Petuni. Oh, I have an egg! I've already got that, so shush. Alright, hopefully we can shove off a kill hole key. Yep. Oh, I'm apparently the captain. Um, who are you? Oh, whatever. Yep, I'm all set. 
To the sea! Raise anchor and set sails for thrills and emotion. I believe that does uh, change depending on what you select. Oh. Pretty sure this is... This is it? I, I haven't really been playing on that stage all that much. I think this is the same ship that you're on for the Paper Mario stage. But yeah, I, th I think that is the same ship. And if that's the case, then there's a lot more cooler things that they could have done. Anyway, chapter five. Um, my third favorite chapter, I guess. I I actually really like this one. Uh, the the actual island bit of it's kind of annoying, but the little dungeon thing that goes with it is more than enough to make up for it. What star day, Exo? They were the pr protests of my crew, the SS Flavillian. Flavian? I don't know. Anyway, in this voyage, as reckless as they say, ah, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. I like this setup, actually. Month Star Day XX. Another day of good wind. White clouds, they, they dazzle me. <laughs> It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them, most heartily. Monthstar Day X music note. Things are going smoothly, yet I am filled with dread. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Oh, that means we're nearly there. Oh god, he's fucking started singing again. It's stuck in my head. <laughs> and now he's talking. There's quite a fair bit of character to this chapter. Does seem to be slowing down, and now it stopped. Spooky. Well, to be honest, no one was really paying attention to your story. Oh yeah, send the bob to do it. Who can apparently teleport? <laughs> he looks familiar. <laughs> this is generally quite eerie. <laughs> Get down from there, you stupid bastard! Don't you dare explode! Yeah, that's problematic. <laughs> hmm. Somehow I don't think that's going to happen. Pretty hard to remain relaxed.
Monster day extra. Fortune from disaster, the kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island was our intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. Ah, fuck. It pains me to think they were taken by the Pirate King. That ghostly thing. What happens to us now, eh? We may be lost without hope. Stricken in the wilds. Monster Day X Heart. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's floats and washed in, and we now have salty bread and other salty things. We can live here for some time on this salty bounty of the sea. But then what? I ask. Mm. Monster Day Circle Circle. We have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Ah, poor sweet SS Flev. Flavian. <laughs> I think Flavillian sounds better, but whatever. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have had no sign of Bobbery and the others, and my heart still... Well, my heart she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Oh my god. Mustar Day Circle X. Three days on the aisle now, and the hunts are all finished. We have carved a life out of here, though we all dream of a return to Rogueport. Hey! Yay! Well, before I do that, there's something I want to get. Run, 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 didn't even bother at all. Yeah. Don't hit me. A lump of something replenishes 25 HP and 25 FP. Do you not realise how awesome that <laughs> that is? Uh, off camera, I'm going to get a bunch more and I'm going to stick them in the shop. But yes, those are very handy to have. Oh boy. What's wrong with you two? You turned blue. <laughs> you sure this is a fight or just a bunch of three year olds on the playground? Seems like the guys seem to inhabit this island. Ah, oh, good lord. Why me? Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. Three ghosts. Well... Let's see what we're... I'm not actually sure how much health these guys have. More than six. That's the problem. Okay, um... Okay, we'll just go for a gold. Spit. Oh, bollocks. Can I pull that up? Yeah, I've, I've, I just don't quite get how to do the super block on them, because they're a little bit quirky. Okay, the most effective way on taking these guys out. I've got a bed to sleep in now anyway, so it's not that big of a deal to be using up so much FP. Now die, I say. Hey, that's easy enough. Oh, actually, we're quite close to levelling up. Yep. Hmm, I suppose you're right. Can do. I want to have a look around on this place anyway, since none of you are going to do that. Shop is pretty simplistic. Um, I don't know if it's worth using the shop. Well, at any rate, I'm going to end the recording here because I think this is a good place to stop. We've now finally made it to kill Hall Key for the next chapter, so, Blazer Dragon with Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, I will talk to you later.